In the last video we transported 100 liter of water on the motorcycle and that was not dangerous enough. So now we have uh, four gallons of 35 liters each. This one. And I'm going to try to transport it on the motorcycle. It just show me the steel rack that I built. It's just made from steel with the screws, no welding and just connected with the rack on the back side. And then there are two steel bars on this side and it's connected with the with this part. So it's very strong. There's also steel here so that it would not move or even touch the wheel. So I'm going to tie the galloons to the motorcycle and then we go for an adventurous ride. <laughs> it's very important to tie it very well and in the front so that there's not a much of a weight in the back. Because when you drive up the hill that is very steep, there's no much pressure on the front wheel and there's a high chance of an accident. So I put the galloon in front as far as possible. So the galloons are tight now. And yeah. I think it's strong. Jennifer's putting a cellophane between the between the galloon because it's not totally closed and if you don't do that there's always the water coming out. She's very scared that some water would get lost. <laughs> so I'm ready to leave. Just like last time, I wear my safety flip-flops again. Yeah, be because it's very dangerous and yeah, safety first. So let's try. How is that? Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm just scared about the power because it has just 10 horsepower and there's one hill it's very steep but yeah let's try Who is it? Yeah it's fine Give me the camera uh, we we'll make an onboard video for that, so if I die, you have a video of that. <laughs> Why? Is that funny? Huh? Jennifer's not coming with me because she's too fat. <laughs> Maybe we would not come up the mountain. So, let's go.
we made it. Yeah, but that was really critical. It's really super heavy. As you can see that. The shark is going very deep and yeah, it's just a very light bike. It weighs only 110 kilo and yeah, then the water is 140 kilo. But uh, really the biggest problem was was the the lack of power. It has only 10 horsepower and when we go here up here, there is uh, three hills, three very steep hills and I have to drive it in the first gear and on a on a high speed so that the engine has enough power but it was really critical and one point the speed got so low that I had to use the clutch and yeah I cannot stop and if I stop I cannot start the motorcycle again in this steep hill so it means that I would need to turn the motorcycle in this steep hill and go down the road again and also there are some other critical points like when you go down a mountain or you go up a mountain and many times there's only a very small way uh, and at the right and, and the left side there are many small stones and when you drive on these small stones because they are come, there's another motorcycle coming in front you have totally no grip and when you brake or you accelerate you fall very easily and yeah that's that's the biggest danger driving on the on the straight way that is just fine there are just some noises coming from the motorcycle from the shock but i think at all it's just fine it just cannot drive too fast and the engine is also very hot so we should really not do this too often but we have totally no choice we have no water here and that's the only way to bring water up here in the mountain and yeah it's not uh, we cannot do this forever like uh, we we need a more storage of the water so that we can store a few thousand liters of water so during the raining season the water tank can get totally full and then when there's no rain for a couple of weeks we still have enough water storage because when there's a strong rain only in a half hour all of our tanks are full and right now uh, we have 1200 liter of storage and then we have these four galloons that is another 140 liters so now we have 1300 1400 liter of water but that lasts us for maybe yeah just just a few weeks and when all the tanks are full and it's still raining the water is just lost so we need more storage for our water and that's that's one of the next projects so if you want to see that subscribe to this channel and then i see you in the next video